Hey, what is up my friends? Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a quick benchmark on the RTX 4090. We're using the i9-12900K as a CPU and we're playing some native Red Dead Redemption in 4K. Let me quickly show you the settings. Uh, we're going to be switching between 4K and 1440p. DLSS is set off. We will be turning that on as well. And 4K settings. So let's reset the benchmark. We're in a little city here where all the good folks come together and sing Kumbaya, my lord. And native performance in this game with these settings is ridiculous when you see the frames. Just gets me really, really hyped to try this GPU in some more GPU demanding games or some more competitive games to see how high of a frames we can score. Should I also be testing this in 8K guys, or would you say 1440p and 4K, 1080p is enough. I don't think a lot of people of you will be playing 8K. And I think it's kinda, I mean, it's, it's a fun flex, but I think the cheapest 8K TV costs around a thousand, so and that's on 60 frames. So <laughs> don't think a lot of you are going to be playing that. But the whole experience, man, is just never experienced a game like this, this smooth with these visuals. Oh, a little explosive there. So let's turn on DLSS. See what that is like. Let's hope we don't get kicked out. So let's put it on quality. I like the sharpening personally. It makes grass and trees and branches and fences and everything like that stand out. So there we go. So we were on a, if you scroll a little bit back, you can see what frames we were before. So I think we gained around like 20 frames and to my eyes this looks really really good i don't see smearing now if you followed the nvidia uh you know kind of what would you call a press conference release thingy then you know that they have spent a lot of work on their dlss 3.0 this is DLSS 2.0, to my better knowing, but they have improved the DLSS performance by quite a bit. But this just makes 4K cinematic games like this, high refresh rate gaming, very, very possible. That just looks stunning. Wow. So let's see. How good it does in 1440p. So this is 4K DLSS. So let's put it on 1440p. And I like to do these benchmarks raw, just so you can see what the difference is like. You can scroll a little bit back and forth. So I don't think we're gonna get that much more FPS out of this. No, the GPU is like, nope. This is cool. I'll just run at 60%. But that still allows for some really, really impressive frames and some really good temperatures. This thing is just so, so chill, so cool. So this is DLSS 1440p. We're also gonna try native. God, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a nice hat. I'll, I'll take that hat. It's actually got super ugly. <laughs> but we'll do it. We'll take it anyway. All right. Let's turn off DLSS. See what 1440p is like native. There we go. So I did notice a little bit back and forthing with switching settings. I don't know if that is due to optimization. Normally the trend, this 
these screens transition a little bit better. What? 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 <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, oh, my man. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> no, I'm actually not sorry. Does he look like really burnt? Oh, he is. He is messed up. <laughs> I think I uh, kind of, kind of killed him. That's okay, Beans. That's uh, just just pretend nothing happened here. It's uh, I think we need some ammo. We don't have enough ammo. But I think this was a, a good little benchmark for you to see what the performance is like. It's it's uh, mind blowing how far they are going. So if you want to see more games, let me know which games you want to see more. In which settings. And I'll catch you in the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all that kind of shenanigans. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Peace.